Here we go, everybody. Today, we're going to continue with the video theme. Uh, last week, we talked about cell phone video equipment. What do you need? And the answer is pretty much nothing. You got it in your pocket. It's your cell phone. But now let's get into what videos to shoot. And let me just start off with the resource library. Uh, uh, hopefully, most of you are familiar with this. If not, you can go to BillHillistad.com, go to the resources tab, or marketing3.com, I think is a shortcut that I have up to this. This is where we put all the resources, anything that we ever reference that you can go take a look at. Uh, and if you go down into the content section of the resources, we're gonna play with just a few of these today. What video should I shoot? Conducting video interviews, and then I've got some extra goodies I just put in there and I'll show you in a second. Uh, but what video should I shoot? If you right click on that and then say download or you can just click on it uh, and It'll pop up without opening word. It's a word doc and This is what you've got there. What videos? Whoopsie <laughs> Sorry too many things going on here window uh, Interviewing fundamentals effective video strategies uh, Where did it go window? Interview effective video strategies. Come on. Where is it? Sorry, I got too many things open, everybody. Uh, let's get this one up out of the way. Let's move this one down out of the way. Let's close this one. Uh, and I'm still not seeing it. Uh, you know what? We'll just click on it again. Conducting what video should I shoot? We'll just open the web version. Uh, too many screens, too many windows open. And by the way, I took the liberty of highlighting a bunch of what I thought were the things that are more relevant to you. I even did them in green and yellow so that you know, the green I thought were the best, the yellow. So quite frequently people are wondering what videos should I shoot? I don't know what to do. I want to be a video marketer and I don't want to put up boring stuff that nobody cares about. So these are the strategies that we found to be most effective and some of them won't be counter or won't be will be counterintuitive because they're not necessarily direct sales. Yeah, I know you want to sell all the time, but this is about making you memorable, turning you into a local celebrity, uh, uh, things like that. So here's the topics and we'll come back and revisit this throughout the morning here. Uh, one more reason I love living in Manhattan Beach, California. Uh, this one's super flexible because it can be anything from places, landmarks, uh, businesses, uh, local history, interesting locals. It's just super flexible. And people who live in Cave Creek, Manhattan Beach, Boise, Idaho, Las Vegas, Nevada, whatever, love seeing local content people love local content so that's where you've got some of the more specific ones local business interviews it's the one we're really going to focus on today conducting interviews it is it's the easiest way to make yourself famous you want to be that person that people recognize come up to in the grocery store restaurant soccer fields when you're hanging out with the kids nothing will do it quicker than the interview strategy uh, uh local wisdom uh, this is a great one because you can interview anybody. Uh, literally, if somebody has an interesting story, a hot tip, uh, uh, everybody's an expert at something. I mean, literally, it could be, I'm here with so-and-so, a homeowner in Cave Creek, uh, uh, who's got a hot tip for us on how to whatever. Get stains, those oil stains out of your driveway. Uh, so, you know, Mary, how do you do this? Oh, well, you know, the, the Drano, whatever. It could be a, it could be anything. And the reason we love the local wisdom is it lets you highlight local people. And remember, each time you interview somebody, each time you do a video about them, and you tag them and you share to their timeline, it's all of their friends. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, I saw your interview. I saw your video. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, uh, the comments, the engagement that comes from there, all of their friends are going to be the ones who drive the engagement, who drive the extra viewership. And remember, everybody who watches, lesson on engagement audiences, is getting harvested by you, put into your database, uh, uh, is going to continue to see you moving forward. Uh, this is just a great way to take anybody who's a social butterfly, a connector, an influencer in a community, and kind of piggyback off of their popularity 
Uh, thank you videos to clients. We do that one all the time. Uh, local bloggers, anybody else that's blogging locally, great way to make friends with, again, influencers who have followings. Uh, uh, fun for families and kids. I love this one. Uh, I've had quite a few people do this. Um, uh, anything from park uh, uh, reviews. Uh, uh, you know, I'm in Anthem, Arizona. There's 32 parks. That's 32 different videos you can do. Every parent's going to want to watch those. Uh, everybody thinking about buying a home will find those. It, and it doesn't just have to be parks. It could be, you know, here's a cool little creek and a hike and perfect for the kids. Or here's Chuck E. Cheese or whatever, any of those kind of places. Or the local community events, uh, calendar, things like that. So many things. Also fun for families and kids. It's great for curating content. You find cool content on YouTube about doing a particular craft or playing games or building forts or whatever. And then you record your little intro to it and say, you know, here's a fun one. I just wanted to share blah, 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 blah. And then you come on at the end and do something. Great, great way if your farm or one of your farms target markets you want to be families with kids. I'm a realtor for families with kids and then just specialize. People love specialists. On this day in local history, that's an easy one. You can find websites or books with local history, things like that in there. Uh, interesting locals or who's who, kind of like the local wisdom, but this is just anybody local who's interesting, period. Uh, uh, upcoming charitable events. I love this one. Love this one. Everything that's coming up, and it doesn't have to be a charitable event, but whether it's a car wash for the girls' volleyball team or it's um, uh, the 5K fun run in the park or the pet adoption day or the charity auction or anything that's a local event, people love knowing about local events. The organizers and the supporters, everybody who's involved in the organization will love you for the story and the publicity. Uh, these are built in viral component videos. Uh, when I interview the, uh, the coach and the team captain for the, you know, whatever, little league, uh, girls volleyball team, lacrosse team, whatever, and they're talking about their car wash or their fundraiser, or their tryouts day, sign up day, whatever. It's, it's tagging them and getting them to share and their friends to comment and all the, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just driving people to a car wash for the girls to raise money for new uniforms. And that's the easiest thing in the world to get thousands of views and have people really pay attention to it. Anyway, I'm not going to go through all of these, all of these, because there's a lot of them in here. And it gets down to the uh, uh, advertisement side of it and what kind of, because we always talk about, don't just post another listing with an address as the title. Uh, try things like, here's the most expensive sales in Manhattan Beach in the last 30 days. The least expensive sales, featured listings, uh, uh, bills, flip picks. Uh, uh, every week I put up three listings that I think make great flip picks. And I do it as a story format, and I'm not going to talk to you about compliance, but if I'm not, you know, some areas I can promote listings as long as I give attribution. I love giving attribution anyway. I don't mind saying, you know, from so-and-so at ABC Realty, uh, or maybe it's just in the print, or maybe it's in the video as a uh, text item, but it's done as a story. You're not taking somebody else's listing and promoting their listing. You're doing a story about some of the local listings that are great for dog lovers, that have great man caves, that are uh, uh, some of the best remodels on the market. Uh, there's my listings for flippers, Bill's flip picks. Uh, uh, cool listing for those who entertain that have great yards or kitchens or whatever. People, see this is the stuff they can't help but want to see. I want to see the local man caves in my neighborhood or my community. I want to see the local best pools. I want to see the, uh, uh, <laughs> the five listings, five cheapest listings with a pool. Uh, you can still get a home for under blah, 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 that has uh, great fix up potential, great profit potential, great flip potential, you name it. That those, anyway, so there's all of your video strategies. But now let's get into the very specific ones today that we wanted to talk about, which was the interview videos. These 
kill it. Anybody who knows Kenny Klaus knows he's killing it. Uh, I don't know his last year numbers. I'll have to talk to Kenny. But year before last, he was at, I want to say, $128 million. Uh, nothing particularly fancy. Kenny's just the master king of local marketing. Uh, ultimate farmer. He's got about an 11% market share last time I talked to him in his market in Mesa, Arizona. And this is something he's been doing for years. He's been doing these interviews. And I love this example more than any other because it's an interview with a dry cleaner. And come on, I love this one so much because what could be more boring than an interview with a dry cleaner? No offense to this dry cleaner, but come on, it's dry cleaner. So, you know, what do you say? Oh, our our hangers are so much bad. I don't know what you say about dry cleaning. It's dry cleaning. But Kenny does an interview with, I think it's Frank from Careful Cleaners here. Uh, and this is years ago, before there was the Facebook opportunity to promote videos and have the huge viewership. We just got to put it up on YouTube. And here we are years and years later. And with the, from 2015, it's over four years old. And it only has 97 views. But Kenny will tell you that at the end of this, Frank wants to know, wow, thanks so much. What can I do for you to, to make it up? And he's like, well, you know, referrals would be great. I don't know, I'll go you one better. If you send somebody over with a box of business cards, I'll have one stapled to every dry cleaning order. For years, every dry cleaning order went out with a Faust team business card stapled to it. Huge, huge win for Kenny. And that's the real real win with all these interview videos. Yes, you will become famous. Yes, you can get 20, 30,000 views a month with an itty bitty budget and everybody will get to know you. But the most value by far is the Franks or the Mikes or the Sallys or the whatever, the people that you interview that you're becoming friends with, they, <sighs> reciprocity kicks in. See, business owners meet people all day long. They're the best connectors in the community. Some of the most influential people in a the community. They're the best referral sources. And if you did one interview a week, at the end of a year, you'd have 50 plus videos. But more importantly, you'd have 50 plus friends that you helped grow their business. And they want to help grow your business. And Kenny will tell you this, uh, uh, even without the viewership, was a massively, massively successful campaign. Now today, today Kenny's had as many as 30,000 views in a single video instead of 97 with one of these early ones. But even with 97, it was a huge, huge win. You see, you don't have to sell every time. When Kenny introduces himself. Another edition of uh, Meet the Community. Starts hey, off with this teaser. To another edition of uh, Meet the Community. My name is Kenny Klaus. Today we're at uh, Careful Cleaner. His logo. Hey, Kenny Klaus, Klaus Team Realty, Keller Williams. I'm here with, and his is another edition of Meet the Community. And it doesn't really matter what it is, but you always get to mention who you are, what you do. But you want to be the local community expert anyway. And if you love, and that's why I mentioned that one topic, one more reason I love living in. People want the local spokesperson. They want the local expert, the person who loves the community, who knows the community, and you're introducing all the businesses to them. And I gotta tell you, uh, I just moved here and I need a dry cleaner and, and I need to know what the best car wash to go to to get my car washed, where do I go to get my car fixed, and I need, and I need, and I wanna know about the restaurants and the hot dips and the little greasy spoon diners and, and, and all the fun businesses in my area and the entertaining things to do and the organizations and the events. I care about all those things. This, this is a huge win. So let's look at a few examples real quick. You guys have seen Cricket TV many times. I love showing these examples because Chris had such outrageous success. Again, 20, 30,000, sometimes as high as 40, 50,000 views in a month. And every one of these businesses, every one of these people, he became friends with. Uh, he had a relationship with, and they owed him to a certain degree. In fact, this is an early example, way back in November of 2016. And I remember this one because I happened to be with Chris this day, uh, uh, standing okay, behind okay, the okay. camera. Take branch A and put it into slot B. I swear, largest tree in Arizona. Um, I don't know where this one goes. 
That's a teaser. Remember, something silly in the beginning, hey, something this whatever, cricket, just throw away. TV and parts as parts. I'm standing here in front of Arizona's tallest <clears> Christmas <throat> tree, brought to you by the outlets at Anthem. This sucker, I don't know how tall it is, but it is much taller than I am, and it is, in fact, the largest fresh-cut tree in Arizona. And I want to tell you a couple of things. I don't want you to think that they just went out to Flagstaff and hacked this thing down. And so, look, it, this is just, we just showed up at the outlet mall. I'm standing there with the tripod. I have one leg down on the tripod and the other two legs pulled up. So I'm holding it like a monopod just to hold it steady. That way I can lean it back and get that pan up and down. And it's just his cell phone with his little mic, uh, just like this, plugged in. And and that's it. He just did a story about this tree and he knew somebody at the outlet mall who gave him some info about it. And then he shot this video and put his little, I want to say $30 boost, whatever on it. And sure enough, this video went out and got 11,000 views. And the people at the outlet mall were so ecstatic. They got more exposure from Chris and they did their own PR firm that they asked Chris to come back and MC the Christmas tree lighting and uh, uh, let them play a video there. They needed a shorter one, so we shot another video. This, and it, it, it's, he's there in shorts and it, it's casual, it's real, it's authentic. And he just talked about the tree. People love knowing about their local stuff. Guys, this stuff kills it. And by the way, that same day we ran over to, he's got a friend on the commercial side who told him that the old Safeway that had been vacant for a year or two uh, uh, just got leased. And so we showed up and they wouldn't let us in. They were in there working on it. They're like, oh no, we're afraid. We're construction workers. We can't do video. So we just set up right in front where it says now leasing in the doors. And he did a quick story about, hey, Anthem, guess what's coming to the old Safeway? It's Safeway. Safeway's coming back. They decided to reopen, only this one's going to be a super duper Safeway. What a and you know what? With its itty bitty boost in a small community, it's still got 1,700 views. Massive win. But hey, I, I would want to know what's coming to go. I want to know what new stores I'm getting in my community. This is just great stuff. Uh, uh, two Brothers Kitchens, uh, 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 Santa's House uh, uh, at the Outlets. Uh, uh, the Outlets really befriended him after that. Can you give us more? Can you, you guys got to be careful. If you do these interviews, people start calling you up and going, hey, can you do one about my water softener company? Can you, I'm the third grade music teacher. We're having a recital. Can you come do a video about, and, and that's what you want. <laughs> if you get too busy, by the way, do what Chris does, recruit a uh, correspondent. His correspondent, by the way, uh, a 12-year-old daughter of an assistant. Um, there we are. And yeah, yeah, the kids. Uh, uh, and Emma, she was getting 10,000, 15,000 views a month all by herself with all of her videos. And it was just Emma Van Raven's way, correspondent for, and that one they shot a fun little skit out of. But like this one, she's at the outlet malls. Um, oh, remember bells, teaser in the beginning. Bells, teaser doesn't have to be silly, by the way. It's just the first five to seven seconds or throwaway. I'm scrolling through. Mm, something's got to get my attention. Then I got to click and hear it. So they're not going to hear it. And if it looks boring, they're not going to watch it. So headline, whatever text you put on there. In this case, she had uh, some bells on her shirt. So she sang jingle bells, playing the bells on her shirt. Wasted the first five to second seconds, and then the little stinger comes up, the little intro, and then after the intro, uh, she does her her little interview. And look at this, 12 years Hi, old. this is Emma Van Ravens with Cricket TV, and we are here at the Outlets at Anthem in the food court, getting ready for breakfast with Santa. You can get your ticket. And by the way, uh, uh, Emma's mom will tell you that, oh yeah, that people came up to us everywhere. She was a little rock star in the community. Uh, and yeah, you can, you can borrow a, a child if you don't have one. You can get a, a, a broadcast journalism major from the local school or somebody from the media club at the high school. Getting other correspondents is not difficult to do. Other business owners love doing this too because again, the publicity, the exposure, and what you're trying to do, kind of like what Chris did here, is create a local channel. 
a couple more examples. I love this one because uh, uh, Shelly Cartier was scared to death and would not. And then finally one day her husband forced her to shoot this first video. And, and it's just a quick interview with uh, the Snow Cone Man because the uh, Snow Cone Man was shutting down. So say goodbye to the Bass Drop Snow Cone team. And that one, Bass Drop, by the way, has 9,000 people in the entire city. That one got 42,000 views, and I believe it had a $12 boost on it. Uh, uh, everybody wanted to know what's happening to the Snow Cone Man. Everybody knew the Snow Cone Man. See, you're piggybacking off of other people's popularity, and now she's doing others. And let's take a look at some more. Uh, love this one. Southern Arizona Homes and Life TV. Uh, uh, Sam Mazaris, and look at all these videos when you scroll through that one. And you can look up any of these on Facebook. Uh, a, a lot of homes, a lot of homes, selling homes, but lots of local interviews, lots of local events, and it is a local channel. Lots of people know this channel. They know this. They subscribe to this. They watch these all the time because, again, put up things that I care about, not just stuff you care about and I don't. Everybody cares about their local community. Even if they don't like it, they still are curious and want to know what's going on. So, and, and by the way, even if nobody likes it, but the people you're making it for like it, you still made that relationship. You still helped them out. Uh, huge, huge win. And look at these. Life in Toledo. There's yet another one with all, and look at 4,100 views, 1,100 views, 9,500 views, 3,200 views, 1,000 views, 2,360. Ah, who knows? Uh, 8,400 views, but those, it's, look, that's still great, 360. But with whatever they're putting on this, I believe it's 20 bucks, maybe it's 10 per video. Uh, as long as you've got a big enough audience, you're gonna spend a penny of you on average. Some people spend two with smaller audiences. But this is it. These are just realtors or loan officers doing local channels. And by the way, highly recommend, this one's Life in Toledo. Uh, the last one was Southern Arizona Homes and Life TV, Southside Living, Cave Creek Today, uh, Experience 419, that must be an area code. Uh, and these are all people, and every one of these people will say, oh my gosh, I've had people come up to me in all these, and say, oh my gosh, you're the one. They think you're a local spokesperson, or you are a local spokesperson. And yeah, let's paint some furniture, you know, like share kind of little comment to win from always. Hmm. Giveaway ends. I'm going to work on their titles here on this one. Um, the best titles, by the way, the best titles, go back to Shelly. The best titles are the ones that look at this bass drop, bass drop, ba -ba 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 bass drop, bass drop. Anybody who, it's called a pattern interrupt, something when I'm scrolling through, I live in Bastrop and all of a sudden I see, whoa, Bastrop, this is about that, that's me. It's tribal, it's a tribal headline, go to the headline download document. That's a good headline to stop people, but yeah, here's Experience 419, uh, Michiana Living, uh, uh, it's just local channels. I'm the local spokesperson. I'm the person connecting Columbus. 3,300 views. And all these are simple, cell phone, authentic food. Gosh, food is a great one to do it about. I've got somebody who does it there in Denver. And they do Taco Tuesdays. There's enough taco places they can have a full year of content and just do taco places around Denver. But I guarantee you they rank for tacos in Denver. Uh, uh, look at this. It just goes on and on and on, guys. And I've got tons of examples. I just opened up a handful of them before I hopped on today to show you. But you, look at this. 5,500 views, 522 views, 343, 4,800. Probably boost, no boost is what's happening there. And you always need to have boost. Uh, shame on you guys for not boosting some of these effectively. Um, Builder Spotlight. Uh, uh, by the way, doing the if you're a realtor um, uh, doing videos of all of the builder inventory and properties and model homes as long as you're getting you know commission share with realtors and as many builders that don't 
So yeah, that's a great one. That's a great one, by the way, for the 360 videos too, the 360 tours of the model homes. But these are the interviews. These are some examples. And the reason I put this up is because if you want to never be forgotten, if you want to be famous, if you want to be the best known agent in your market, because if you'll commit to a, let's call it a $50 a week budget, just keep it conservative. If you spend 50 bucks a week, shoot one or two videos a week, they will not take you more than 10 minutes to shoot these videos. You put the 50 bucks on them, you're probably gonna get 5,000 views, but you're gonna get a couple thousand views no matter what. And then on the good ones, you'll top 10,000 views. That's all, and, and yep, I do one a week and then one a month, I do, uh, or twice a month, whatever, I do something about just straight real estate. I do a listing, I do an open house, I do a whatever, and look, if you got more open houses, more listings, do them, but try to make sure that 80% of your content is stuff people will want to see. If you do the listing right, they'll wanna see it, it doesn't really count as an ad. Uh, but yeah, you just wanna make sure that I pay attention to your stuff, because I know there's better than a 50-50 shot that it'll be interesting to me. I want to know about these local things in my community. That's why local videos are so cool. Local history, on this day in history in, did you know where this was founded? Did you know how I found it? There's so much trivia you can find that makes good stories. Uh, this, this stuff kills it like nothing else in real estate. You just gotta be committed before you do it. So if you're willing to commit to something like this, like I said, go to the social library or the social resource library. What videos should I shoot? Get some ideas. Turn that into your marketing plan. Then go down to conducting great interviews. And what you'll find there is a quick document. Here we go, interviewing local leaders and or persons of influence. Remember, it doesn't have to be a business. It could be an organization leader, uh, an event organizer, the coach, the teacher, the program manager, uh, uh, an interesting local that has a story, you know, that Bob flew 25 missions over Germany, and then later, you know, lots of people with great stories, um, lots of people with hot tips, uh, just local who's who. Interesting locals are awesome. Again, every time you do one, you build a connection with somebody that it's going to average one referral a year uh, uh, with these people, call it. Can you do anything with your time that's more effective? Chris committed to do three videos a week for the first year, and he did, and he did. And after that, cut way back, and now he mostly just promotes real estate and doesn't need more business. There's not much marketing in his life other than the marketing he does for his listings which is what he owes his clients, but yeah, he's just killing it. Aaron Alvarez, uh, uh, you gotta check him out. He's a loan officer uh, in the, I think Surprise or Glendale, Arizona, uh, something over on the west side of Phoenix. And he just crushes it, routinely gets 50,000 views in a month. Uh, and most of his most popular content are the interviews. Uh, he really sticks with restaurants and focuses on food because people love food. But yeah, this this is the money, guys. This is guaranteed, guaranteed. You can't do this for six months and not end up as the best known agent in your market. So how do you conduct an interview? And this is really the training part of today. And we'll wrap this up pretty quick because it's pretty darn simple. Open up this document, read through it a couple times, practice it, but it's pretty simple. The goal of your interview is to make the person you're with look good and feel good. If they're happy, if they like the outcome, everything else is cool because you now have a new relationship. Watch Frank Beret do his coop out explanation. C-O-U-P-O-U-T, highly recommend the product. He'll tell you how 53 relationships or maybe 63 relationships that, that, were business owners that he helped out. Uh, uh, the referrals from them turned a, turned into a $35 million a year flow for him from 63 people. That was, that was the perfect example. So look, if they enjoy it, you win. So how do I do the interview? And this is it, this is it, and it's really simple. 
You start every interview with preparatory discovery conversation. It's a pre-interview interview. You don't go, okay, you ready to go? And then make it up. You don't know what they're going to say. So you want to go through and say, hey, we're going to sit down and I'm going to ask you a few questions. You're going to spend 15 minutes. And it's also a great bonding experience. Get to know them. I'm going to ask them some questions. And when I ask them those questions and we have a bunch of sample questions further down in the document, <clears throat> I'm going to go, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> talking too much. I'm going to ask them some questions, and when I hit on one that's got a good answer, I'm going to say, ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to take my cue card. I always have a cue card because I only want three questions in a typical interview. I'm going to write it down on my cue card so that when I'm interviewing them, I've got something to do with this hand. I'm holding my cue card. It's got my little logo on the back. Uh, I've got my mic in the other hand if I'm using a mic. And now I'm going to write down that question. I'm going to say, that's a good one. I'm going to remind them to keep it short and sweet. That people like sound bites, not sermons. Uh, I'm going to remind them that it's about being genuine, likable, not selling, not pitching. They don't want to be overly polished. They want to be real. This is social media. Uh, and during this interview, I'm going to just go through and ask them a bunch of questions. Find the three that I like their answers to, coach them a little bit on how to answer it if they need any coaching. But I'm gonna that way they know in the interview what the three questions are gonna be, or four questions or whatever you find, and they know what they're gonna say, so they're not as nervous. So they get to relax, they know what to expect, you get to identify the three good questions, you write those down, and now you're ready to do it and you've bonded with them. You're not ever winging this ad lib because you don't know what they're going to say and you don't know if they're going to ramble on forever and most people want to they get nervous so always start with a pre-interview in the pre-interview you might discover some other things like what the best b-roll shots or clips will be the b-roll is the pictures or the images little video clips that go along with because it's not always just talking head you want to cut away to the, the front of the store uh, uh, the dining area, the somebody cooking in the kitchen, and it can be a um, a still uh, uh, video where you just film, you know, the people flipping pizzas for five seconds. Uh, it can be a pan where, again, you never want to hold it if you don't have to. You try to put your phone on a monopod or a tripod with only one leg all the way down, so it's touching the ground that way you can just rotate really steady and get a nice slow pan or you pull all the way back, as far back as you can to get the widest angle possible photo and your editor, and we'll cover editing separately in a separate training if you're having somebody else edit it, but they put a Ken Burns effect. Basically they take the photo and they just put a little pan on it or a little zoom on it or something, but they'll take your still images and turn them into video clips that are flawless. That's why I always recommend people not shoot B-roll clips unless you really know what you're doing because I get so much bad B-roll from people where they, oh, okay, there we go, or they do something walking and it's all shaky and it's just, or it's too fast or whatever. Uh, no, just take a photo. They'll turn it into, but you can find out during the pre-roll, oh yeah, let's get a, you know, we need a couple shots to go along with it. What do you recommend? Oh, we can do this, we can do that. Oh, beautiful. Um, if they talk about all of the reviews for their restaurant awards and they've got them all up on a wall, Great, that'd make a great B-roll shot. And I'm going to ask you about, uh, uh, see over here on the wall, you've got quite a few. Tell me about a few of them. Oh, wow, well, we got this and this and that. See, that's a great, and I find that question by talking to them or noticing the awards on their wall. Anyway, that's it. What to ask them, the questions you need, uh, uh, depend on what you learn in the pre-interview, blah, 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 blah. You can follow this on your own. I'm not going to read this whole document to you. But the whole idea is you're just trying to, and this is all you got to have to do a perfect interview. You need to know your opening. You need to have your three questions and your close or your sign off. You're going to, when you go through this document, you're going to work up your opening. Hey, it's Kenny Klaus, Klaus Team Realty, Keller Williams, here with another edition of Meet the Community. Hey, it's Chris Prickett, Prickett TV in Anthem, Arizona, saving the world one house at a time. I don't know what that means, but he's a kook and it's, Perfect form. It fits his personality. Uh, hey, Sam Mazaris with Southern Homes in uh, Southern Arizona Homes and Life TV. By the way, uh, uh, I mentioned before that I added some extra goodies for you. Homes and Life TV is the brand. If you can see the little video here, that's uh, one of the mini logos. It's the 
brand that we use most often, created it about 10 years ago, and just give it to anybody who wants it. So if somebody wants Manhattan Beach, Homes and Life TV, Homes and Life TV, Manhattan Beach, uh, I just give it to anybody that wants it. So I have homesandlife.tv and homesandlifetv.com. And what I do for anybody that wants to use it is create a subdomain, manhattanbeach.homesandlifetv.com, manhattanbeach.homesandlife.tv. And uh, I just added this document up there so that if you, and Homes and Life is because we want it to be about life and real estate. We're gonna mix in some home decorating and some homes for sale and some open houses and some market updates along with local life stuff. This is what everybody wants to watch. And so we created all these logos for Homes and Life TV that you can use. So if you ever wanna create a channel, you're welcome to take any of these logos. Uh, they're attached on the next line there in the resource library. I'm particularly fond of this one. Uh, I just think it's really cool, and that's it. So instead of Homes and Life TV, you'd have Redondo.HomesandLifeTV, and it's uh, and the reason, by the way, that you want to have a channel like this, and it doesn't have to be Homes and Life TV. Again, that's just a courtesy that I've been doing for people for a long time. You want to have something that sounds like a media outlet so that when you're calling around to set up interviews, you don't want to say, hi, it's Bill from Bill's Real Estate, and I wanted to see if I could interview don't know why I would want to do that. When you call up and you say, hey, it's Bill Hillestad. I'm an associate producer with Homes and Life TV, Redondo Beach, or Redondo Beef Homes and Life TV. I was wondering if uh, somebody was in that could talk to me about doing an on-camera interview. And uh, by the way, Stefan, uh, uh, I showed you um, uh, Shelly Cartier, Stefan, her husband, who forced her to finally do that video. Uh, he was the originator. Uh, uh, of that uh, for the family uh, and his was I want to say Austin iLabs and he did nothing but interviews with tech companies in Austin Texas and he'll tell you that he would call major major corporations he never got one with Michael Dell at Dell Computers but major billion dollar companies and say Stefan Lubinsky, associate producer, executive producer, whatever, with Austin iLabs, wondering if so-and-so was able to talk to us about doing an on-camera interview. He'll tell you 10 minutes max before he got a call back or he got put through live to the CEO. Everybody wants to do an on-camera interview, especially if it sounds like an actual media outlet. And when you go, like all those channels I just showed you on Facebook, when you go, and set up a Facebook page that looks like an actual media outlet, and there's thousands of views occurring on it, yeah, you know what? Everybody wants to be interviewed by South Bay Homes and Life TV. Uh, it just makes it easy to get the interviews, makes them more popular, they get way more comments on it. People are like, oh my God, I can't believe you got interviewed. By the way, we also have artwork up here in this folder that I gave you guys for things like press passes, and you don't have to use the ones we have, you just go Google them, there's lots of, there's no official press pass police, so yeah, you throw your logo on a press pass, and now you got a press pass, we leave those clipped to the front of the little camera. Uh, uh, the cue cards, when we talked about the cue cards, there's cue card examples up here, uh, which was really just a logo on a half sheet of paper. Uh, uh, and then all these logos, so you're welcome to those, but I highly recommend, that you come up with a channel idea that sounds like a real media outlet, but has some little tie into real estate. You always want to have your name with your logo and realtor, whatever, so that you're making it clear to everybody that you're a realtor, but you now also got this other tie in. So what do I need? I need my open. Hey, it's Bill Hill said South Bay Homes and Life TV uh, uh, and whatever Keller Williams, Remax, uh, uh, whatever your local real estate company is, uh, uh, so that you get your little plug and you got your little logo and you can have your stinger set up with both the channel logo and your personal logo uh, and your photo, your little stinger intro, whatever you want. So name, tell us about business name. What is it you do here and who do you do it for? And there's a whole bunch of sample questions. So I got my open. Now I need to have three questions. Here's a bunch. Take these, throw away the ones you don't like. 
rewrite the ones that you think uh, you would say differently and leave the ones that you like and now you've got a bunch of questions and this is what you do in the pre-interview and then you can just pick the ones that you want to use in the real interview and then you got to have your sign up nobody ever knows how to end at the end you always want to give a plug to their business you know and so that's it if you're looking for the best tacos or some of the best tacos you're ever going to find in the south bay uh, uh come to tito's tacos uh, uh at the intersection of manhattan beach boulevard and ardmore uh, uh or call whatever uh, and by the way, that's something else. I write the address, I write the phone number, I write someone's name, anything that I'm going to give as a reference, I write it on my cue card uh, so that I'm able to refer to it when I'm doing the story. Uh, so here's a bunch of great stories. By the way, quite often what it ends up being is what business are you in? How did you get in it? What's your plans for the future? Uh, uh, you know, uh, um, the past, the present, and the future is just a great flow for an interview. Uh, and you'll see all the examples here and you can watch a lot of these. Uh, make sure that when you're doing this that you react to them. You want to nod, make some noises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, My facial expressions, mm, whatever. That helps while they're talking. Repeat key points that need a little clarification or you need to drive it home. The whole idea is even a person that's not a good interview subject, you can make them look good. Wow, it sounds so complicated. Are you sure a neophyte like me can, or wait a minute, you mean you're telling me that, and then you just repeat it back and make it simple. It's a good thing to do in the interview. Uh, you're always going to have your call to action, like I mentioned. Uh, personal endorsement or testimonial is awesome. I, I have to tell you, blah, blah, blah. as a matter of fact, if it's food, you can take a bite and wow, that is so good. Um, uh, great. Uh, opportunity to show a product, brief demo, anything like that. Beautiful. Just don't let it go too long. Never forget to friend them on Facebook so that you can tag them personally and so that you can share straight to their timeline as well as tagging their business. Anybody that you get in the video that you can become friends with and share it to their timeline. So yeah, if there's a couple partners in the business or the whole staff is there and it, let's just meet the whole staff, you know, bah, 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 and they all say their name. We'll now get to friend them all, tag them all, all their friends say, oh my God, that's how you're in the video. That's where you kill it. Practice your mic techniques ahead of time. The big killer with mics, for those of you who want to use mics, mainly because you can have a flag, is you do this and you're really loud and then you can't do it like that's somebody else. If you're like, oh, you're invading their space. So you're two feet away from them. Just go for 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches. Just always think 12 inches so that your sound levels are the same and it sounds good. Uh, if you're going to use it, my recommendation is don't use one uh, or don't plug it in. That's what I do if I'm using <laughs> I just run the cable down and leave it laying on the ground. Looks like I'm doing a mic, but I've really got the little shotgun up there that's recording or just using the phone without a shotgun. Uh, that way it looks cool. I got my cool something to hold in my hand, I got my logo, it looks professional, and I don't worry about the sound being messed up because I can't remember to move it back and forth at the right time. Um, uh, write your three questions out on a cue card. Never hold your camera, you guys know this, it's gonna sit on the thing. You wanna take two pictures or seven second video clips for each minute, uh, and I would change that to each uh, half minute. Uh, every 30 seconds of video, you want to have a B-roll clip. Um, uh, yeah, and I got it here, four to six for two to three, I just, for each half minute. Hmm. Uh, but that's it. I just, yeah, I'm, yeah, I did a two minute video. You'd like to have three or four, three or four breaks. You're never a talking head on screen for more than 30 seconds. You want to cut away to something else. Your audio is still behind it, but when you're talking about the way they hand make their pizza dough, that's when you want to show a video clip of them hand making pizza dough or throwing pizza dough in the air or whatever. Um, uh, we've got some example sign off clips. Well, there you have it. Anthem. Uh, if you're looking for whatever, blah, 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 you're going to want to come to or call. Uh, <laughs> Uh, remind you to live large and live local. If you can come up with some little saying and watch some other shows, watch some other things, watch some, you just need an open, a 
a sign off and three questions. Your interview will be spectacular no matter what, no matter how bad you think it is, no matter how bad they think it is. If you got an open, you got three questions and you got to close, all of their friends are going to love it at the very, very least. Uh, and then there's some other stuff on here about getting the teaser, the teaser captioning, how to come up with the right title. There's another titling document in the resource library for you. Uh, uh, reminding you to keep it short, sweet, whatever, to use the Bluetooth to start and stop your video if you don't have somebody shooting for you. Uh, make sure that you get the name and address of the person. So this is your basic little how-to. Go conduct interviews, but just remember, open, three questions, close. That's what you need. Where do you get three questions? You do a pre-interview. You got a list of questions, you go through, you talk to them, you get to know them, you'll find, oh, that's a great question, and just, so tell me about the business. They're like, well, I talked to my grandfather, and, and he used to teach me how to. Uh, oh, oh, that's wonderful. I'm gonna ask you about how you got into this. Um, or I heard through the grapevine, I hear this is a family endeavor, that this is a multi-generational uh, uh, effort. Uh, can you tell me about that? So in the conversation where you're bonding with them, that's where you find your questions. Guys, when you get this down, it's going to take you a half an hour. Because, and the main reason it takes that long is because you want to spend a half an hour with them building a relationship and bonding. And if you just did one of those a week, and you really should make time to do two or three, it's nothing will grow your business faster and nothing will make you famous faster. Pretty soon, you'll have the high school and the chamber of commerce and the local sports leagues and everybody as your strategic relationships and they will all use you. I can't use you to promote my business and not use you as a realtor. I kind of schmuck would that make me nothing, nothing wins like this. And it's the easiest, funnest thing. And yeah, you might be scared. Uh, I remember cause I showed you the one I went out with Chris. We went out for five interviews the first day. Uh, he called up five people, lined up five interviews. I showed up, stood behind his phone, shot his quick little videos. He was great at leaving in the ums and the ahs and making it authentic and not over complicating things. One of the interviews canceled, so we went to the park and he did a park review. And his park review, by the way, was spectacular. He actually ran around the park and tried the slides and, and all the kids were running around because he's like, come with me and I'm filming. And he's running around with his microphone and uh, uh, talking about the park. And he's like, hang on. And he goes up the slide and comes down. Or he goes across the little bridge. Or he's doing the swing. And the kids are following him around the park like he's the Pied Piper. It was spectacular. It was an awesome, awesome video. Uh, the fun with family or you know what to do with family and kids in the local area is just a great topic. Anyway, that's it. Kind of rambling, but I just wanted to convince you that yeah, if you go to the resource center, you do the what videos I should shoot, conducting video interviews. We've done this training a couple times before. You can find it down here in the archives, creating interview videos right there, uh, uh, getting your videos edited if you want to jump ahead to that, but you don't have to make them fancy. I do. I want stingers. I want that fancy intro. Like all those channels you showed, they all have fancy intros. Yeah. I want one of those. Great. Go to Fiverr. Find when you like, pay them the 15 bucks or whatever, and they'll make your little intro stinger. And you can find the one with the music, whatever. But yeah, there you go, Southside Living. Or uh, here we go, uh, Life in Toledo. Uh, see, that's why I like homes in life. I want real estate and life, not just life. Uh, Southern Arizona Homes and Life TV. I just, just love this. Just love this approach. And by the way, I've got a couple of people that don't like going out and shooting the interview videos that turn themselves into the anchor. You know how the anchor sits back and says, well, that story now live, Becky in, in Miami is there to cover the hurricane, whatever. And then it cuts to Becky and she does the story. So I actually have somebody in Colorado Springs that didn't want to go out and do the interviews. So he got a couple of other people that wanted to. And it's not hard to find them. Uh, uh, like I said, you can just find them at the local high school or college, if nothing else. But most people find other business owners, other agents, whatever, uh, a, a kid. But he got other correspondents that would go out and do the stories. 
and then he would play anchor. So after they came back with a story, and it was an interview with Tito from Tito's Tacos, uh, he'd say, hey, Colorado Springs, you looking for some of the best tacos in town? Well, Becky's got a... Uh, Becky's got you covered here. Take a look at this. And then uh, uh, we'll play Becky's video of the actual interview and tasting the tacos. And oh, there you have it. Once again, Tito's Tacos, down at the intersection of blah, 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 blah. Bill Hillestad, ABC Realty, uh, another edition of Can't Wait to See You Next Week, whatever your sign off is. So he just had an open and a sign off and had somebody else go do all the interviews. And he never had to leave his desk, do like I am, just sit at his computer. Anyway, this is, this is my favorite strategy. I've always wanted to turn this into a business so that, look at this, realtors, mic flags, people getting interviewed, uh, uh, <laughs> relationships being developed. See, that's a, bit, a Ken Burns effect. That's not a video of a pan, that's just somebody putting a pan on a video. Uh, bloopers, B-rolls, look at this, it's just, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. I just just love doing this. You will become famous. You will be the best known agent in your market if you do this and shoot at least one video a week. I recommend you do two or three, but one a week no matter what. My suggestion to people is go heavy in the beginning to get your channel full and kind of get the momentum and then you can drop it back to one uh, a week later. But pretty soon, you've been doing this for a while, people are going to start calling you up. You start promoting events, I'll start. And by the way, you go back to that document on what to shoot. A lot of them, you don't have to call somebody and set up an interview. You can just do a story. You can do a story about fireworks. Oh my gosh. The most Google term, local term in late July, uh, late June, early July is where are the fireworks, fireworks in. And if you want to do that and you're going to load that up to Facebook, I also recommend you put that one up on your YouTube channel and say uh, um, 2019 fireworks shows in South the South Bay or in and around Manhattan Beach. And then I'm gonna go find all the fireworks things. I'm gonna get some shots of some Google Maps stuff. I'm gonna get some other video clips of, but I'm just gonna do a story about the different fireworks shows and I'm gonna borrow from the other stories that have been on the news and I'm watching all this food stuff and getting hungry. <laughs> anyway. That's a great one. If you did a where to watch the fireworks and just covered, you know, great places to view from, what they do, what time they do it, when they do it, that story will rank. That story will get watched. Everybody in your area will pause and watch that because I want to know. I don't know where the fireworks are around here. Do they do them down at the pier or, or I, I would pause and watch that whole video and then I would know you. I would know you as a realtor because I watched you tell me about where to go and what to do. Uh, and then I'd start to know you more and know you more. And in between, I'd see your real estate stuff. And pretty soon, you'd become the realtor I know, like, and trust. All right, I'm rambling now. That's it. Let me check and see. Uh, chat. Uh, I want to use a version of Homes Life TV. How do I contact you? Send me a text message. Um, uh, you can email me, bill at billhillestad.com. I'm horrible about email. As I've mentioned before, emails just become too full of spam to ever pay attention to. Uh, text messages work. Uh, phone number is 623-882-6655. Uh, I believe you can find that up on my Facebook page uh, as well. Or you can message me through Facebook. That's like text, anything that comes to my phone. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, and if you just want to use Homes and Life TV, what I'd do is I'd first go find one of those logos over there in the resource guide. If you if just come down here and say, where was it? Uh, color, Dropbox, nope, down, down. There we go, conducting video interviews. Homes and Life TV logos, click on that, boom, see all the logos. Have somebody on Fiverr edit one of these up or do it yourself and turn it into your logo. And then just shoot me a text and tell me once you have your Facebook page up or your YouTube channel, tell me where you want the URL to go. That's it. Just send me the URL. Can you point South Bay Homes and Life TV to, and I'll make it point to it and just leave it. That's what I do with all these other folks that want to use Homes and Life TV. 
So yeah, if you're in Henderson, Nevada, you want Henderson dot homes and life TV. Great. Tell me that's what you want. And then tell me where you wanted to go. If you have a website you wanted to go to great. I recommend you just do it on Facebook and point the URL straight to your Facebook page. So as soon as you get your Facebook page set up, you get the first couple videos on there. You gotta have 25 people like it before you can actually have a fixed URL. Uh, so you'll have 25 people go out and like it or you'll run a like campaign. Grab your quick 25 people, get that URL, URL send me the URL, and I will point Homes and Life TV, Henderson Homes and Life TV to it. Uh, and it'll stay there forever. I'll always pay for that and keep it live. Um, that's it, guys. I don't see any other questions. Uh, nope. Uh, no comments. Uh, we made it in less than an hour. It's not the half an hour we shoot for, but this is a big topic, and it's a sure thing when. It's a sure thing. You can't do this and not end up as the best-known agent in your market. You can't do it and not be the best known agent in your market. And you'll find that you make more good friends, you get more free food, more free stuff. Can't tell you what kind of stories I've got from little press passes, maybe the press pass, how much free stuff people get with those press passes. It's, it's candidly, it's mind blowing. And by the way, just go press pass as a Google search. Uh, uh, I don't like the one that's in that library I have. And then, hmm. Must have clicked on, there we go. And then click on images. And then just go through here and find an image you like. This one, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> and all you're going to do is you drop a white box over the KWWN or whatever and Ron Burgundy in the picture. And I just drop my picture in there, drop that in there, put my logo in there. But find one that you like and just drop some new boxes over the top. And I do it in Word or PowerPoint. I don't need to be an editor you don't have a millennial or graphic person or whatever to do it for you. Um, or you just find one of these and download it and then post it up to Fiverr and award somebody the gig uh, and say, would you make me a press pass that looks like this one, but has my logo, my stuff, my name, my picture. Uh, and then, like I said, I leave that. Remember the, the holder you would put the phone in to make the phone look big and obnoxious and professional with the light on top? I leave it clipped on the front of that uh, so that I've got a press pass. But uh, and I believe that's the one I actually use right now. Um, if you have a lanyard to make it look even better, uh, uh, trust me, you'll get backstage, you'll get free food, you'll get past barricades. Uh, uh, Frank and Brian, if you guys watch National Real Estate Post, uh, if you ever see him speak, um, uh, ask Brian about his press pass and the hurricane in Florida and how he got past all the police barricades uh, uh, as a reporter to go what he wanted to watch a hurricane close up and personal. <laughs> so he, when everybody else was evacuating, he was driving in with his homemade press pass. Uh, so there you go. Side tip on the press pass. All right. No more questions. Uh, uh, guys, I really hope some of you do this. If you do, don't ever hesitate to shoot me an email or a text message and ask me questions. Uh, uh, you want more examples, I can send you more examples. Uh, I just love seeing people succeed with this. It makes me so excited uh, when people go out and build their South Side living or Southern Arizona or whatever. She Shelly Cartier Real Estate, going to do interviews. If you're going to be the community person, tie the community into it. I want the community name in it. That's the thing. It's, yeah, Cricket TV works, but Anthem Homes and Life would have been a whole lot better. Uh, uh, Anthem Homes and Life with Chris Cricket, Cricket Real Estate. That's, I'm still going to have the logo in there. When you have your stinger made, the beginning, why not have the stinger, Anthem Homes and Life TV, Homes and Life Anthem, Homes and Life and Anthem, whatever. <laughs> Boom, logo uh, with Chris Cricket. And when it says with Chris Prickett, it has a picture. It says Prickett Realty, Prickett whatever, you know, ABC Realty, Chris Prickett. And then your little outro is where you can have all your dis licensing, disclosure, whatever, and that's your closing slide. So that's it, guys. Now we have used the full hour. I will bail on you and see you next week. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching this whole thing. We'll see you next week.